Okay, uh, let's look at this question. The siren of a police car at rest emits a predominant uh, frequency of uh, 1600 hertz. What frequency will you hear if you are at rest and the police car moves at 25 meter per second? Assume the speed, assume the speed or uh, speed of, this is a uh, uh, grammar. Yeah, grammar, grammar mistake. This is speed of sound. Speed of sound in air is 3, 4, 5 meter per second. Okay. Uh, okay, what frequency will you hear uh, toward you or away from you? So, uh, okay. So, that means the question is, what frequency will you hear if the police car is moving towards you or away from you? Okay. So, now let, let us identify who is the source and who is the observer. Okay. This is the first thing you need to identify. So, the siren. Uh, of course, the police car has a siren. So, that means uh, this police car with the siren emit out the sound wave okay uh, yeah he also he said emits uh, emits out so this is the source this is the source uh, this is the source and uh emits out at this frequency this is the source frequency uh, this is a source frequency what frequency will you hear so this is the question what frequency will you hear you are the observer uh, you are the you are the observer observer ah uh, you are the observer you are the one who listen to the siren of police car okay you are at rest ah uh, so this means uh this is the stationary stationary uh observer uh, stationary observer vo is uh, zero okay there's no vo okay uh, the observer is stationary. You are the observer. But the police car is moving at this 25 meter per second. So the police car is moving. So this is the source, source, uh, source uh, moving. Uh, source moving. Okay. Uh, this is the speed of source. Uh, this is the speed of source. Uh, okay. Speed of source. Uh, okay. This is the speed of source 25. Now, speed of sound is 3, 4, 5. And this is V. Lah. This is V. This is V. Yeah? The V value. The speed of sound. Okay? Speed of source. So, source is moving. Now, uh, two condition. Is the source moving towards the observer or source moving away from observer? Uh, so, let us look first look at uh, the first condition. The uh, source towards the observer. Source towards observer. Let me draw it out. So, uh, this is the police car. Uh, police car. Okay. And this is the observer. Okay. Uh, this is the police car. This is the uh, police car with the siren. Okay. And this is the observer. Uh, this is the... Uh, ob this is you. Uh, this is you. Okay. This is the source. The police car is the source, and you are the observer. Ah. Uh, so I want you. I want to copy this. Um, uh, you have two situations here to consider. One is the source moving towards. One is source moving away. Ah. Uh, this is question B. Okay. So the first one is. Uh, the first one is the source moving towards the police car moving towards you. Uh, this is the source velocity. Source velocity. The the second one is source moving away. Uh, B is moving away. Yeah, B is source moving away. Uh, okay. So what condition? What can what can we think about this uh, situation? Uh, so remember this. So this one source. A, A is a police car moving towards you or the source moving towards observer. Source, uh, okay, we can write like this. This is, this is S. This is O. This is 
source and this observer. Yeah. Ah, okay. Source uh, observer is stationary. All right. So now, when the source is moving towards observer, what concept we know? What concept do we know? When source moving towards observer means the wave is being compressed. Uh, wave is being compressed. Yeah, the wave, the sound wave, which moving towards the observer is being being compressed. But when the source is moving away, the the sound wave is being stretched. Uh, it's being stretched. Okay, it's being stretched. So, um, and then one more thing is the police car is letting out the uh, source source uh, frequency. The police car is letting out the source frequency, but the observed frequency, yeah, for question A, the source moving towards observer, the observed frequency you hear should increase. Ah, because when the wave is being compressed, uh, now more waves are passing through you. More waves are passing through you faster, so the observed frequency should increase. But for question B, when the source is moving away, the wave is being stretched like that, so less wave. Less wave passes through observer and passes through observer slower. So the observed frequency you the observed frequency you hear should decrease. Uh, should decrease. Understand? So all based on these uh, notes where, which I have uh, explained to you, the first one. Okay, uh, this, no, sorry, this one, the first and second one, this one. Uh, when source moving towards, the wave is being compressed. Uh, the wave is being compressed, the source, the observed frequency should increase. But when the source is moving away, away from you, uh, yeah, the source is moving away from you, the observed frequency should decrease. Should decrease because the wave is being stretched. So that, that's it, that's it. Okay? Uh, this one, compressed one, you hear a higher, frequ higher observed frequency. The wave which, which is being stretched, you hear a lower observed frequency. That's all, yeah? Source moving towards, the, of the wave is compressed. Source moving away, the wave is being stretched. Okay. So now, um, let's uh, build the equations for the question A. Okay, observe frequency. Okay, the, the VO is zero. VO is at the top. VO is zero. Stationary observer. So at the top, we don't have VO. We only have VS because only the source is moving. Only the source is moving, we have VS. Vs is at the bottom. Vs is at the bottom. Uh, this is our general equation. Okay, this is our general equation for both A and B. Uh, because only the source is moving. Only the only the source is moving, either moving towards or moving away. So we only have Vs. We don't have Vo at the top. Okay, uh, but thing is when the source is moving towards the wave is being compressed, the observed frequency should increase. You hear a higher frequency. Yeah? When the source is moving towards, the observed frequency should increase. The observed frequency should increase. So how to make the observed frequency increase? We divide by a... This value below here need to become a smaller value. This value at the bottom here need to become a smaller value. Understand not? To make a smaller value, we need to minus, uh, when we minus, the denominator becomes smaller. The denominator becomes smaller. So when we divide by a smaller denominator, uh, this value becomes bigger. Uh, understand? But for this one, when the source is moving away, the wave is being stretched, you hear a lower observed frequency because less wave passing through you, you hear a lower observed frequency. So uh, the observed frequency should decrease. So, to make a lower observed frequency, the value below here, the value below here, need to, in, uh, need to increase. I uh, need to increase. So, how to make, okay, uh, again, so the, the denominator here need to become a bigger value. The denominator below here, denominator below here need to become a bigger value. So, how uh, we plus Vs, we plus Vs. We plus Vs, so this denominator becomes bigger. Uh, so when we divide by a bigger denominator, this uh, value becomes smaller. Ah, that, that is how we do the questions. 
Okay, that's a strategy. Okay, so now let's substitute all the values. So this V is uh, just now 345. 345, uh, and then divide by, uh, this is 345 minus, what is our VS? Our VS is uh, 25. Or in SI unit, right? Meter, meter. Okay, good. Uh, so this is uh, 25. Okay. And then what is the source frequency? Source frequency is uh, 1,600. Uh, 1,600. Okay. Let's put in the value 1,600. Ah, uh, so okay. Let's calculate. Let's calculate. Um, uh, minus uh, twenty five. Okay. Uh, three four five divide by answer multiply by one thousand six hundred. So I get this one seven two five hertz. Ah, uh, okay. Whereas for the the second one, the question B. Uh, this one is. Plus VS, plus VS. So we just substitute all the value there. And this one is plus VS, plus 25. Okay, this is 1600. Okay, then what do we get? What do we get? Uh, 345 uh, plus 20. Uh, okay, uh, Uh, plus 25 uh, and then 345 divide by the answer multiply 1600 okay so our answer is this is uh, 1491 sorry again uh, 1491.1491.89 hertz ah is the answer correct is the answer uh, answer not given but uh, we know the answer is correct because why because uh, if you compare uh, this observed frequency should increase that means yeah it did increase this one is big this 1725 is higher than one uh, 1600 uh, so this is a higher observed frequency whereas when moving away when source moving away the observed frequency become lower 1491 1491 compared to the original original source frequency 1600 so lower than the original frequency observed frequency is lower the original lower than the actual source frequency uh, so yeah when the source is moving away you hear a lower observed frequency compared to the actual source frequency so correct uh, yeah but when the source is moving towards you you hear a higher observed frequency 1725 higher than the actual source frequency only 1600 yeah higher you hear a higher uh, frequency 1700 so correct okay so that's all the reasoning for doppler effect questions okay i hope you understand okay bye